A government panel is reviewing the possible size of earthquakes occurring in the Sea of Japan. Experts have learned new lessons about the power of tremors. Seismologists and tsunami researchers met to advise what coastal municipalities could do to avoid tsunami damage. Serious damage could result if tsunami are triggered along the Sea of Japan. We need to re-evaluate safety measures. In 1993, a magnitude 7.8 quake off Hokkaido triggered tsunami that devastated a nearby island. The waves reached as far as western Japan and South Korea. Tsunami from another earthquake in 1983 spread across the Sea of Japan. But in the March 11th earthquake in 2011, several zones shifted simultaneously and produced a magnitude 9 tremor. The panel will consider whether the same could happen in the Sea of Japan. The members will announce the results of the study in March. Japanese power companies are starting to install emergency ventilation systems in their nuclear reactors. The systems will reduce the amount of radioactivity released into the air in the event of a meltdown. The move was prompted by the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant in March of 2011. Engineers at the time failed to promptly release the gases building up inside the reactor vessels to reduce the pressure. This caused serious damage to the vessels and a massive release of radioactive substances. Tokyo Electric will install one of the new systems next week at a reactor at its Kashiwazaki plant in Niigata and an emergency contaminated steam from the container vessel will be filtered through water before it enters the atmosphere. The process can reduce levels of radioactive iodine and cesium by factors of up to 1,000. Tokyo Electric and other utilities plan to install the filtering systems at all their reactors. The people who oversee nuclear safety in Japan are still finding their feet. They got to work at the Nuclear Regulation Authority in September after the government merged two other agencies. Their boss, Shunichi Tanaka, says his priority is to win back public trust. NHK World's Kaho Izumitani reports. Shunichi Tanaka is doing a job that's not been done before. He's the new chair of a new agency. He says he's committed to making decisions based on the evidence something he says that was hard to do before the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. We are not hesitating to make decisions based on objective scientific fact. Honestly speaking, I understand there used to be other issues taken into account. Those who work for Tanaka say they're trying to avoid those kinds of pressures. Inspectors for the Nuclear Regulation Authority looked into a trench at the oil plant on the Sea of Japan. They wanted to determine whether a fault running underneath the compound is active. The people who run the utility are questioning their work, even before the release of the findings. The inspection is still ongoing. We plan to explain how we view the situation when we can. But at this point, our position has not changed that the fault is not active. But the investigators are standing firm. Tanaka says people don't understand all the mysteries of nature. He says he learned that lesson two years ago. We lack the minds to humbly face the cause of various accidents. I have been wary of the culture, not doubting the safety myth. The accident at Fukushima provided a good opportunity to change that. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has suggested his government may consider reintroducing more nuclear power and even allowing for the construction of new facilities. The government will go over what we've learned about the nuclear accident and check the progress of nuclear safety technology. I'd like to carefully consider whether new plants can be built. It will take a certain amount of time. Tanaka says he and his staff need to work without interference. The idea to give certain independence to our organization 
came from the current leading party, even before taking power. So, I believe the government will honor our independence. The investigators that looked at the oil plant had hoped to release their findings this month, but they need more time. Some consider their conclusions will be a litmus test for the Nuclear Regulation Authority. People want to know whether the regulators are doing their jobs or acting as a rubber stamp for the government. Kaho Izumitani, NHK World, Tokyo. Disaster management is another area the government's targeting in its stimulus package. The infrastructure ministry will spend about $11 million to help construction firms purchase heavy machinery. Ministry officials are concerned that a shortage of machinery could delay recovery work after a disaster. The money will subsidize part of the interest charged to local construction firms for loans to buy bulldozers and power shovels. The ministry will also expand the range of machinery eligible for financial support to help construction firms that lost equipment in the March 2011 disaster. how weird it starts to get when you just stop breathing. <laughs> 